Learning has been a crucial aspect of survival since the first humans walked the earth. Each generation needs to learn how to thrive in their surroundings, and children have historically learned from their parents. The catch is that we cannot learn to solve problems if we do not know to learn first. The best way to keep your brain active and strong is by learning new skills. We all have many small tasks every day, like boiling water or brushing our teeth, which we do almost without thinking about it. The more you learn, the more your brain will feel like a well-oiled machine that can tackle any task set before it. This is what micromastery is. Micromastery sets you up for success because it focuses on learning more minor things quickly. It's a great way to exercise the brain, give your memory a nifty little boost, and encourage growth. The first element is an entry trick. Good micromastery involves an entry trick, a cunning scheme that will speed up your performance and add to your bottom line. For example, finding stones with three raised bumps in close proximity create a small platform for another rock to rest on. The second involves the skills often required for achieving micromasteries that are incongruent with each other, like when you have to rub your stomach and pat your head simultaneously. It is difficult at first but gets easier with time. Background support is the third element, and it means arranging your life so you can succeed. For example, if you're trying to figure out how to surf, you'll need a surfboard, wetsuit, and a way to transport yourself to the beach. If you're trying to learn Spanish, you'll need some basic books and perhaps a language partner. Aside from direct costs, background support often includes arranging your schedule to study. It's essential for everyone to have that feeling of success. It's a reward for your hard work, and it keeps you motivated to continue. This brings us to the fourth element of micromastery. Set realistic and attainable goals for yourself and then enjoy your wins when you reach them. Repeatability is the fifth element. Just like in sports or music, repetition is vital with micromastery. Recognizing patterns and using them repeatedly will increase your ability to identify opportunities, so much that you'll be on autopilot. Experimentation is the final element. Being able to approach experiences with a playful mindset is especially important in today's world. Experimentation enables the process to remain fluid and less rigid, preventing you from becoming bored, adopting unnecessary shortcuts, or playing it too safe. If you want to make perfect homemade bread, you'll have to put in the time. Long stretches of hands-on labor and focus are necessary when it comes to baking, so you have to make sure to give yourself enough time. Bread making isn't something that can be rushed, so don't expect to get great results if you try baking a loaf in a short period of time. This is the first entry trick. The second entry trick is to keep your dough wet. When kneading, it becomes an entirely different ballgame if you add too much flour. Adding too much flour will make your bread heavy and difficult to bake. To avoid that, coat your hands and the kneading surface with a bit of olive oil. This will remove some stickiness while keeping the dough light. The final entry trick is to use good quality flour and yeast to help with the entire baking process. 